2021 and 2022 so far have been one of the most bizarre years when it came to car sales in the United States history. We also heard about Toyota RAV4s selling for double the price by some dealerships. In fact, dealership tactics are hurting almost all automakers today. In addition, the whole situation with some US states banning direct-to-customer model of sales is hurting Tesla and some other new car startups. While Elon Musk and Tesla have been fighting many lawsuits over the years, things are heating up right now. Tesla operates in around 35 states, covering almost 90% of the US population. Tesla has locations in five of the nine states that restrict direct car sales – Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Wisconsin. Tesla does have a shop on Chapatulas Street in New Orleans, but it's not permitted to sell vehicles there. It's simply for looking around. In Bayou State, Tesla EVs must still be bought online and shipped to the customers. The same is true in places such as Texas. That is an odd fact, considering that Tesla relocated its formal headquarters to the state and established a massive factory near Austin. Some states still prohibit the sale of vehicles directly to buyers. Tesla, however, is now ready to tackle this inconvenience and put it to a final rest. According to reports, the business is suing Louisiana to enable it to sell electric vehicles directly to customers in the state. Tesla branded the action as protectionist and anti-competitive. Looking forward, the Louisiana case will be closely watched by investors. Still, it should not have a notable impact on the stock. The concept was initially much more important to investors, but it has eroded as Tesla has developed. The dealer problem was brought up at the Tesla's first quarter earnings call. Obviously, we would appreciate federal legislation to enable direct sale in all states, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk said. However, we have seen no inclination on the side of Congress to implement such legislation that would overturn various state regulations. Unfortunately, we're going to have to battle it state by state. The last time the problem was highlighted by an investor before the first quarter of 2022 was back in 2016, and we believe that Tesla is now suing in Louisiana to test appeals in bigger states, such as Texas. If direct sales were permitted, Tesla and the owners of its electric cars might benefit from decreased prices. Although Tesla is yet to officially debunk the speculation, the lawsuit is the latest in a series of battles to overturn direct sales restrictions in several states against Tesla, which circumvented established vehicle dealerships. Customers in such states must travel to adjacent states to get Tesla vehicles. Tesla argued that Louisiana authorities violated state and federal antitrust laws by prohibiting direct sales since 2017 and attempting to limit leasing and service of its vehicles in Louisiana. According to the complaint filed in the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Louisiana, Louisiana consumers' freedom is being unreasonably constrained by protectionist, anti-competitive, and inefficient state regulation. Tesla filed the lawsuit against Louisiana dealers, the Dealers Association, and several Motor Vehicle Commission members engaged in what it termed an illegal conspiracy to prevent Tesla from conducting business in Louisiana. Tesla also sued Michigan in 2016 over the state's direct sales restriction and struck an agreement in 2020 that allows Tesla to service its vehicles in Michigan via a subsidiary. With new legislative sessions beginning in numerous states, Tesla is stepping up its efforts to enact new legislation that would put the problem to bed. Tesla is asking supporters in Oklahoma and Mississippi to utilize its community platform to help oppose the proposals that might prohibit direct sales of electric vehicles. This is due to outdated legislation designed to shield franchise dealerships from manufacturers attempting to compete with those who have invested much in establishing a sales and service staff for them. The same restrictions are now being used to prevent Tesla and other new vehicle makers from entering some very lucrative markets. They have never had franchise dealerships competing with dealers selling cars from established brands. It is being utilized anti-competitively. Some of the company's current battlegrounds are in New York, and it has to do with the fact that Tesla may sell vehicles in New York 
but only after attaining an agreement with the state that restricts the number of dealerships Tesla can operate to just five. The car maker has subsequently outgrown this arrangement and is advocating for legislation to extend the number of outlets to 20. It would allow Tesla to grow upstate and add to its five facilities in the New York City area. With the launch of the Model 3 in more significant numbers this year, Tesla would benefit from having additional retail stores and service facilities in the state. However, it is unlikely to pass without some pushback. Before the measure was even presented, it has been discovered in December that local dealers were already preparing for a battle and launching a propaganda campaign. For the fourth year in a row in Connecticut, Tesla is attempting to push legislation to enable direct sales in the state. Connecticut is one of the few states to outright ban carmaker-owned enterprises. As a consequence, Tesla purchasers cannot accept delivery in the state, as they can in Texas, despite the fact that Tesla cannot run a shop in that state as well. Despite some support for Tesla in the General Assembly and relevant state committees, the local car dealer group has been particularly active in lobbying attempts to eliminate the several previous measures. A new measure has not been considered, but we expect that this will change shortly. In addition, Tesla has also been having a difficult time in Utah. The company believed it could operate in the state under current law, so it constructed a $3 million store in Salt Lake City back in 2015. Still, the full-fledged store was demoted to a gallery service center two weeks before the opening because the Utah Attorney General's office ruled that it violated the state's direct sales law. They secured a used vehicle dealer license and fought the state for the ability to sell. Still, they lost the direct sales challenge last year before the Utah Supreme Court. After battling through the courts, the carmaker is back in the legislature with a new measure submitted by Republican Kim Coleman. The measure is presently in the House Rules Committee and no hearings have been scheduled. We haven't heard much about Tesla's attempts to legalize direct sales in New Mexico until they ask for support for a new bill. New Mexico has an absurdly short legislative session, so the measure has little chance of passing this year. Still, it was Tesla's first foray into the local political arena. It helped evaluate the support for its business model in the state. Tesla also called for local support for Bill SB 1560 submitted to the Oklahoma State Assembly. As with New Mexico, this is Tesla's first effort at a push in the state. Several states have altered their direct sales legislation to prevent this sort of abuse, which gave third-party dealers a monopoly on order sales. However, there are still occasional misuses and attempts by dealer groups, who have a lot of weight in state politics, to abolish direct sales. Tesla's inviting its fans to resist laws in Oklahoma and Mississippi prohibiting direct sales of electric cars using its new Tesla Engage network. In Oklahoma, the state's House Business and Commerce Committee is debating House Bill 3994, which would prohibit any car maker from conducting service or delivery operations, regardless of whether they previously had franchise dealers. Tesla claims that the law might potentially compel the company to shut its sites in the state. If approved, this law may compel Tesla to shut its current Oklahoma stores and bar Tesla from delivering electric cars to anybody in the state, forcing residents to fly out of the state to maintain their vehicles or pick up their new Tesla vehicles. In Wisconsin, Tesla has a measure that was examined by a subcommittee. Local dealerships in the state have been fiercely opposed to the company. Republican Chris Kapenga proposed the measure, which was once dubbed the Electric Vehicle Freedom Act. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have moved forward since the public hearing. Other battlegrounds, including Michigan and Texas, face much more challenging circumstances. Tesla's presently suing the state of Michigan for the ability to sell its vehicles instead of going through the legislative process. It's expected to be a protracted court struggle with no clear conclusion. Tesla's constantly attempting to pass legislation in Texas, but has had little luck. Tesla will not be allowed to debut anything new until next year because of the state final system. While we don't know how these legal battles will end, we can only assume that customers want to have options to buy offline or online no matter where they live. What do you think on this topic? 
share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.